Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject data structures was AVL trees. So far we have discussed about the binary trees and binary search trees. Now let us see AVL trees. Actually this AVL trees or the, uh, we call it as a height balanced bal uh, binary trees. AVL trees are called as height balanced binary trees. So here we are concentrating on the height balance. We are, uh, whatever the tree that is there, that you have to maintain the height balance. I already explained how we are going to calculate the height. Uh, so whatever the, so this is the initial node or the root node. Okay. So from root node to the leaf node, you call it as a height. Okay. This is the height of a tree. So why we need this height, uh, why we need to find the height of a balanced uh, binary tree and why we want to maintain a balanced on every binary tree. Actually, uh, in the previous, uh, uh, the main drawback of a binary search tree is, before going to explain about AVL trees, let me explain the drawback of the binary search tree. In binary search tree, uh, height is not under the control. It completely depends on the insertion of elements. Uh, so it is the main drawback of the binary search tree. So in binary search tree, height is not under control. Okay. And it completely depends upon the insertion of elements. It depends on insertion of element. So this is a main drawback of the binary search tree. So what it mean? Height is not under control and depends on insertion of elements. So let us take whatever the nodes. Let me a simple example. Let me take uh, a three nodes. Three, two, one. So these are the three nodes. If you want to arrange these or else four like that. If we take this. So if these nodes, if you want to arrange in binary search tree, the condition is the left side should be less than the root node and the right side should be greater than root node. So left side should be greater. Okay. So the whatever the sequence they are given, whatever the numbers they are given, it completely depends on the insertion of elements. So whether you select these things or else if you take this two as a root node, okay, one becomes uh, the left node. And 3 is the right node. Again, 4 is the right node of the 3. Okay. If you take 1 as a name, root node. And here, let's take 2, 3, 4. Means the different ways of uh, uh, height here. If you take height here. Okay. For this node, the height is 1, 2, 3. Okay. Its a height is 3. And here the height of the left uh, subtree is 2 and the right is a 1. So like that the height is variating. So for each and every tree the height is variating. But the sequence is the same. So we are taking a set of nodes. But in binary search tree you can uh, build the uh, tree in whatever the pattern you want you can build. Okay. So here the main drawback is height is not under the control. So, for this, the height is increased. For this, the height is decreasing. And here, the height is increasing. It is not under the control. It completely depends on the insertion of element. So, whenever the height is going to be increased, obviously, the time, uh, uh, time ta it takes time for searching an element. If you want to search an element 4, you need to uh, do uh, 3 searching transactions. Okay? So first you have to come to here. First you have to come here. Again you have to come to here. Means the uh, searching time will be increasing. So that is the main drawback of the binary search tree. So to avoid these uh, drawback and uh, to improve this uh, binary search tree efficiency, we are using the AVL trees. So what is the use of the AVL tree? The AVL tree is going to maintain the height balanced. So whatever the height here it is doing, it is going to maintain the height balance for whatever the uh, pattern you have taken. So everything will be balanced. So let me uh, explain how it is going to be maintain the height balance of each tree. 
So for this, you need to know the balance factor of a node. So whatever the tree you are constructing, you have to know the uh, calculation of uh, balanced factor of node. The formula for that is balanced factor of a node is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. So the balance factor of a node is equal to height of the left subtree minus uh, height of the right subtree. So AVL is a balanced tree in which, let me write the definition. The main use of the AVL trees or height, we call AVL trees as a height balanced binary trees. So AVL is a binary tree in which the difference of, so this is the difference, the difference of height of, height of right and left subtrees of any node, any node is less than or equal to 1. So this is the main condition of the AVL tree. So whatever the balanced factor you are uh, finding out so that balanced factor should be is always e uh, less than or equal to one node is less let me write less than or equal to one that is height of left subtree minus height of right subtree is equal to is in the range of minus one zero and one so this is the range. Whenever you maintain that node in this range, then you can say that uh, the height is balanced in the binary tree. Okay. So this you have to remember that the AVL tree condition was height of left subtree minus height of right subtree is in the range of minus 1 or 0 or 1. So this is a balance factor. So you can also represent mod balance factor is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree it's less than or equal to one okay so let me uh, take some uh, examples here i'll take a simple example uh, so uh, how the height is variating let me take one uh, so this is a tree Okay, let me take this is a tree. This is a balanced tree. So I want to find out the height of this balanced tree. So if you want to find out the uh, balance factor of each node, the formula is height of the uh, left subtree minus height of the right subtree. Okay, so if you take this, this is a root node and if you want to calculate the height here, the height of this, uh, the balance factor of this node is the height of left subtree is 2. And the height of the right subtree is 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Okay, it is in the range of, uh, this node is in the range of uh, balanced factor. That is a balanced factor is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree should be in the range of 0, sorry, uh, minus 1, 0 and 1. That is a condition. So, it is 0. This node is satisfied. Now, coming to here, we have to calculate the height of the, the balanced factor is equal to height of the left subtree minus and height of the right subtree is 0 that is 1 okay this is also in this range only now calculate here height of the left subtree 1 and the height of the right subtree is 0 and it is 1 okay so here 1 0 1 so then you can say this tree is balanced because Every node height is in between 0 and 1 because every node, whatever the node you have taken, every node height is in between 0, 1, 0, uh, minus 1, 0 and 1. Okay. So then you can say that tree is balanced because every side is the same. Let me take another tree. Uh, now I want to take one tree like... 
so this is a tree now you have to find out whether the tree is balanced or not so first find the balance factor of this node the balance factor of this is right or uh, height of the left subtree what is the height of the left subtree one two three so three levels are there three minus and this is one so you get two two is not in this range of the avial tree so we can say that here this is an imbalanced tree this is imbalanced even though one node is not satisfied the criteria that uh, tree is in balance let me check the other nodes also here the height is uh, left sub tree is 0 and right sub tree is 2 0 minus 2 minus 2 okay this is also not in the range and the leaf nodes always 0 height and here 1 minus 0 1 okay so this tree is uh, is imbalanced because the height of the node is not maintaining the balance factor range so this is imbalanced this tree is in imbalanced Next, let me take another example I want to uh, make you how to calculate the balance factor if you uh, aware of this finding out the balance factor next you can uh, easily construct the avial trees the main concept of avial trees is you have to maintain the uh, it is going to maintain the height balanced balance tree so whatever the node they are given you have to maintain the height balance so he, here in this video i'm just explaining uh, how what is an imbalance tree okay so how this can be rectified that will be explained in the construction of this avial tree by taking the rotations so this is the note let me take okay now check uh, is this tree is balanced or not the height of the left sub tree is one and the right is one two three three levels are there one minus three height of left sub tree minus right sub tree is the balance factor minus two so minus two is not in this range so this is also imbalanced this is imbalanced so let me calculate the other factors also so that you will uh, know how to calculate the balance factor. So height of the left sub tree is 1 and the height of the right sub tree is 2, 1, 2. So minus 1, okay, this satisfied. Left is 0 and right is minus 1. So you will get minus 1. So even though these two nodes are in the range, the here the root node is not in this range. So if one node is not satisfied, you can say this is imbalanced. Okay, so if the tree is imbalanced based on the balance factor, uh, we uh, the factor have to perform uh, rotations to make it a balanced tree. So the main thing is if you want to make this imbalanced tree as a balanced tree, we have to perform rotations. So that I'll explain in the next video. So how we are doing rotations on the imbalanced tree and how we are going to make it as constructing the avial tree by making it as a balanced tree. Thank you.